Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nielsen Networking video. This is going to be a quick video on a uh, vulnerability and how to remediate it. The vulnerability is going to be known as Windows Speculative Execution Configuration Check. And it's a vulnerability that's been around since about 2018. Um, and I occasionally would see this on a client from time to time when we're running some vulnerability scans. Um, but as of late, we've seen it more often than not. And I'm not sure why that is. If we've just, you know, the batch of clients we're dealing with at this point haven't, you know, had a chance to take care of it or weren't aware of it or um, if tenable on their, um, you know, um, scans, they updated the plugins or something that's given us different results. So either way, this is a video we're going to show you what we're doing to remediate it and give you a couple of um, things that you can try if our solution doesn't work. Um, you know, kind of turnkey what we're going to show you. There's a couple of configuration changes you can do. So. Two ways to resolve this. The first way is to manually open up regedit and you would do this um, by typing in regedit and then you'd want to right click it as an admin. And then what you would want to do, and let me just open it up here, is enter these two, create these two registry uh, D words. So what we would do is you would browse down to this location. Let me just show you real quick. So, it's going to be H key local machine system current control set control. And then you're going to go down and I believe it is session manager. Did I leave it control session manager? There you are. And then it's going to be memory management. And there you go. And what you would need to do is you would need to clear, create a new key by right clicking new D word 32 bit value. And what you would do is you would type in feature setting override and you would hit enter and then you would go in it and you would change the value to 72. And then you would do the same thing for this key right here. But instead of doing it that way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you an easier way to do this which would be to cut and paste this from the description. I'll add it into the description. Go ahead and cut and paste this whole line right here. Then go to your command prompt, CMD, right click, run as admin. Cut and paste it again, because apparently it didn't work. Paste it in there, hit enter. And now if we go back here, refresh, we're gonna add both of them. So we have, you know, the feature settings override that we did manually. And now we have the feature features setting override mask. We would then reboot and the settings would take place. Um, so you could pick your poison. You could do this manually or you could do it using, um, you know, a, you could even, you know, create a, a registry key. Uh, so change this instead of dot text, change it to dot reg but I would just cut and paste it in the command prompt. It's probably the easiest thing to do there. So that's pretty much all there is to the fix. Now, as far as a few variations, and you, you're more than welcome to go through and read these, you follow these links that go to these web pages here. And I'll, I'll put the, the Nessus and the uh, other two links in the description as well as the reg keys. But you can go through here and you can kind of see, okay, let's say, you know, this is your specific use case. You would go here and it gives you the different configurations you would modify for your specific processor. Um, and you can scroll down and it kind of tells you, you know, like which variant you're going to be, um, you know, applicable to or not. So, and if you scroll down, it actually tells you the registry keys that you would enter. So to disable it for this variant, these are the, the values. So instead of the 72 and, um, three, it would be one and three. And you'd have to go through if you wanted to enable it, you would do the opposite. And again, for this whole listing, whoops, sorry, there's my, for the whole listing, they're all gonna be different um, configurations. So that is what you do there. Again, not much to it. The easiest way to do it again is to just cut and paste it out of my uh, channel description and put it in a text file and then just run it from an admin command prompt. But if you wanna go into the registry and do it, how about it? Thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you enjoyed this video and you want to get more uh, vulnerability remediation techniques, or if you're interested in, you know, cybersecurity, ethical hacking, um, pen testing, 
anything, this is the channel for it. Like, subscribe, and we'll uh, talk to you later. Thanks.